Hi, in this video, I'm just going to take you through one example using the binomial theorem. So to begin, I'm going to give you the binomial theorem. So that means if you have a binomial, let's say x plus y, and you have it raised to some power, uh, that's a, a whole number, a positive integer, you can use combinations to find the coefficients of the um, expanded form or standard form. So you would do n c or n choose 0 times x to the n power plus n choose 1 times x to the n minus 1 power times y plus n choose 2 x to the n minus 2 y squared and so on until you got to n choose n, y to the n. Okay, so let's do this example. Let's do 2x minus 3y to the fifth power. Okay, so to expand this, it would be really helpful to know 5 choose 0, 5 choose 1, and so on. So, I'm going to actually get out my calculator. If you didn't have your calculator handy, uh, you would just be looking at the fifth row of Pascal's triangle. So I'm actually going into my calculator, and I'm going to type into y equals 5 choose. So I'm going to go into the math and probability, so NCR, x. And then if I go to my table, there they are, 0 through 5. Perfect. So I need 5 choose 0 times 2x to the fifth plus 5 choose 1 times 2x to the, let's see, that power is going to decrease by 1. Then we're going to multiply that by negative 3y to the first power. All right, so those exponents are always going to add up to 5. Plus 5 choose 2, so then this will get multiplied by 2x all cubed times negative 3y quantity squared plus 5 choose 3 times 2x quantity squared times negative 3y quantity cubed plus 5 choose 4 uh, now that's just multiplying by 2x and then negative 3 to the fourth power and then our last term would be 5 choose 5 times negative 3y to the fifth power. So that's the expansion. Now I just need to figure out what those are. Let me change colors here. So 5 choose 0 is 1. 5 choose 1 is 5. I'm just going to read off my list. This one's 10. This one's 10. 5 and 1. Great. I'm going to change colors again to show you the other work we have to clean up here. So now, uh, 2x quantity to the fifth power would be 32x to the fifth. Um, 2x quantity to the fourth, that's going to be 16x to the fourth, and that's going to get multiplied with negative 3y. Over here, this is going to simplify to 8x cubed times 9y squared. Now I'm down here. This is going to simplify to 4x squared times negative 20y, sorry, negative 27y cubed. Down here we have the 2x still times, this is going to be positive 81y to the fourth. And then here we would have negative 243y to the fifth. Okay, so now I'm just rewriting this out so I can see it all at once. You should have it on your paper. Hopefully you have room. Okay, now our final step to simplify, we would get 32x to the fifth. This is going to be negative, so I'm going to multiply my calculator. 5 times 16 times negative 3, negative 240. Well, we have x to the fourth y. 
this is going to be positive 720x cubed y squared. Okay, again, my calculator, this is going to be 10 times 4 times negative 27. I got negative 1080 x squared y cubed. This is going to be, let's see, um, 810xy to the fourth, and then minus 243y to the fifth. So as annoying as that might have seemed, I still think it was easier than doing four separate mul multiplication problems. And just another little hint here, if I said what was the fourth term of what we were doing, which was 2x minus 3y to the fifth, um, I could just jump right to the fourth term if I wanted. That would be 5, choose 3 times 2x to the, what would that be, um, second times negative 3y cubed. So when I do that, I had to think for a second. I always make this number and this number match. And the way I get this one is that I subtract these two, right? That's got to be the difference there. So you'll see that that will turn into this.